Hey girls, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing really well. I don't know about you, but I have been feeling a little bit uninspired this start of the year. I feel like the weather has just not been giving spring and yeah, just haven't been feeling that inspired by my own wardrobe and the shops. I think it's been not great stock at the moment, but the last couple of weeks I've really seen it start to pick up and I've had some pieces delivered that I am really excited to wear and really excited to show you. So I thought we could do a little bit of a roundup video on of new in pieces in my wardrobe for spring. Um, I'm always conscious when I do these videos that I never want them to come across as me saying that you need to purchase all of these pieces because you definitely don't. Um, obviously I do this as my job so I work with a lot of brands on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube for ads so I obviously get sent quite a lot of pieces and I just thought it might be helpful to do a little bit of a roundup, show you the best bits that I've received recently and pieces that I've bought myself and yeah it might just help you to make some really good purchases for your spring wardrobe. I think today to mix it up a little bit I'm gonna actually put the pieces on and show you them. I just think that might be a little bit more engaging. I think I might also do some cutaways as well just because I kind of like to show you how I would style pieces in multiple different ways and it's quite difficult to show you how I'm styling them if I'm not doing the video full length if that makes sense. So hopefully I should be trying the pieces on and then you should also have like a full length clip so you can see how I would wear it. Um, but yeah I'm gonna get straight on with the video today. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel I appreciate it. I haven't been very consistent on here and um, but hopefully now as there's some more spring stock coming through I will be back to creating videos as usual and um, as always I'll leave everything linked in the description box below and if you have any questions on sizing or if I miss anything then do just drop me a comment below and um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and let's just get straight into it Okay, so piece number one is this new blazer, which is from Arquette. I really love this blazer, and I know you might be thinking it is quite autumn-y in the way that it's like textured and things and the colour of it, but I do think it's a really good transitional piece because, as we know in the UK, the weather in spring is a little bit unpredictable and it can still be very cold like it is today. Um, so yeah, I just thought this blazer was gorgeous. The texture is like this really nice kind of furry material, really good quality as you would expect from Arquette, and the fit is really 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 nice too I think I went for a size 36 in this blazer so I will leave it linked down below with the size details once I've double checked and um, but yeah I just think it's perfect just to throw on I've just got it on today with some black leggings and a white t-shirt and I also styled it recently in a reel on Instagram with like a black mini skirt and some loafers and I thought that was just like a really cute kind of pre-spring look and um, so yeah I really love this blazer from Arca I think I will get lots of wear out of it and of course then you can keep it in your wardrobe to wear in autumn as well if you follow me over on Instagram, then this definitely won't be your first time seeing this coat, but it's one of my favourite pre-spring purchases. I just think a cream coat is a great way to kind of brighten up your outfits as we move into spring. This coat is from Zara, and it's kind of like a straight fit, quite long length coat, which I just think is perfect for styling lots of different ways in spring. I have been wearing this coat so much recently. I think it is the perfect style of coat to dress down and also dress up. I loved throwing it on with a pair of jeans and some trainers. I just think that gives a really light fresh look and um, I've also been wearing it a lot out in the evening just over like a pair of nice jeans and like an evening top and then I've also been dressing it down with kind of gym wear and things as well so yeah I do think it's a very very versatile piece and um, it is a kind of fitted style coat so I think I'm wearing a size M here and yeah I would say to size up if you do want a more kind of oversized fit especially if you're wanting to layer kind of thicker jumpers and hoodies underneath it um, but yeah yeah, I do think it's very very gorgeous I'll just come a bit closer so you can see the texture but it's kind of like I'm not even sure what you would kind of call this material it's not super thick I would say that so at the moment I have been kind of layering it as I said with jumpers and hoodies and things and um, but hopefully as we move into spring and it gets a bit warmer it will be that perfect kind of light coat that's just easy to throw on I really wanted to include this leather jacket from H&M because I think it's a great really versatile jacket option for spring I do actually have a similar piece in my wardrobe already that I do think I can create the same kind of looks with so I think this will be going back for me but I do think if you don't have something similar in your wardrobe already this kind of jacket is such a good option for spring when I first tried it on I wasn't obsessed with the quality but it's definitely grown on me and for being around the 50 pound mark I feel like it looks a lot more expensive I really like all the details on it it's kind of like a trench coat style which I definitely think these kind of details helps make it look a lot more expensive and um, so yeah this is definitely the kind of jacket that I'd throw on over most outfits in spring especially if it's a bit of a wet day so yeah I just thought it was a great piece it's a lovely kind of cropped oversized fit I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a size s 
So yeah, as I said, just a very versatile jacket and I do think that jackets similar to this are normally at a much higher price point. So yeah, a really good option from H&M. You're going to have to let me know what you think on this last one because I'm very undecided. I do think it's slightly big, but it's this gorgeous cream trench coat from H&M. It's in a wool blend material, stunning quality, super, super soft. I just think it's the perfect wearable neutral colour for spring. I love the whole idea of this wool trench coat. The only thing is I think I've gone for a size too big. I'm pretty sure I went for size S, so I would say to probably size down if you're thinking of buying it. I definitely think I should have gone for the size extra small. Um, but yeah, I do think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just kind of wondering whether I really need to bring another winter coat into my wardrobe. But saying that, it is a kind of trench coat style and spring can still be very cold as we know. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for this style of neutral spring coat that you can throw over everything, wear it to work, then I definitely think you should run, not walk for this. I was very kindly gifted my dream crop jacket, which is the one I'm wearing from Bash. If you spend a lot of time on Pinterest like me, then I think you'll definitely recognize this jacket. And I can confirm it is as beautiful in real life. I just think this is absolutely timeless. It is one of those pieces that will just stay in your wardrobe forever and ever and never date. The quality is gorgeous. The color is just perfect. And um, the only slight issue that I would say with this jacket is that I do think the sleeves are slightly on the shorter side. Maybe I have long arms, I'm not sure, but yeah, I do think if you are thinking of buying this jacket, then I would say to size up. I will confirm what size I'm wearing and leave it in the description box below, but I do think I sized up at least one size, maybe two. I've just got it on with a super simple outfit, and I think that is the beauty of a crop jacket, is that you can literally just put it over the simplest jeans and t-shirt outfit, and it really does elevate your look. Um, I've just got it on with these jeans, which are actually a new pair from H&M. They are the H&M Mum jeans. I absolutely love this wash of blue, and I think it's the perfect kind of mid blue for heading into spring but I'm just not sure on the fit so please let me know in the comments what you think um but yeah I'm obsessed with the color of them and they are super high-waisted and comfortable and um, but yeah just let me know if you think I should keep those but yeah I'm totally obsessed with this jacket and I can't wait to wear it all through spring and um, I am aware that it is a super expensive jacket so I do have an alternative to show you which is a little bit more reasonably priced from Abercrombie so I'll just put that one on now this is the Abercrombie one on and and as you can see, it gives a very similar overall finish to your outfit. And um, this jacket is a little bit more of like a boucle style material. It actually feels a little bit thicker than the bash one, to be honest. So would be a really good piece for wearing like now as we move into spring and then probably again in autumn as well. And um, so yeah, it feels really premium quality. I do think Abercrombie generally has a really good quality. I think these style of jackets are great for workwear too. Really easy to dress up with heels. And I also think they work with trainers too. I think this jacket is around the £100 mark so again it is a little bit more expensive. I have seen some similar alternatives that are slightly cheaper I think from Mango and H&M so I will leave some similar options below but I do think a cream crop jacket like this is a spring wardrobe staple. Okay now on to knitwear and this is one of those pieces that makes me so excited for spring. I loved it as soon as I saw it and I just had to get it. It is from Arquette and it's in their gorgeous kind of alpaca wool blend material so super soft, super cozy um, and yeah, I just absolutely love it. And I do think, although I'm a big advocate of a neutral wardrobe, I think it makes it so much easier to get dressed in the morning. I do think it is really important to still incorporate those pieces in your wardrobe that make you happy and make you smile and make you look forward to getting dressed in the morning. And this is definitely one of those pieces for me. This color brings me so much happiness and I'm pretty sure blue is supposed to be a bit of a trend for spring 2024. Um, so yeah, perfect timing from Arquette. As you know, I wear a lot of jeans and denim so this has been fitting really well into my existing wardrobe because super easy to throw on with some jeans and um, I've been loving wearing it with a tan handbag as well I just think that's a really nice color combination um, and I've also been styling it with some white trousers too which I just think is a really nice fresh look for spring you know when you take something out of the box or the bag that it came in and you just know immediately whether it's going to be a keep or a return? I definitely had this with this Everlane jumper. It just felt so soft and just a really gorgeous quality. So I knew it was a definite keep. I actually don't have anything similar in my wardrobe already. This kind of, I don't even know what colour they called it on the website. I think it was almost like a heathered brown. But yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I really don't know why I didn't have something this colour in my wardrobe sooner because I do think it's a really gorgeous, 
nice warm tone and um, I think it looks really nice styled here like I have done it with some cream jeans I really like that kind of contrast um, and it'll be really easy to style with denim blue jeans too I also think it's a really nice kind of color of jumper just to have as a bit of a layering piece you can throw it over your shoulders over a blazer over a white t-shirt and it'll just look really nice and fresh this is actually my first time at trying a knit jumper from Evelyn and I'm so impressed it's just the perfect level of thickness nothing too heavy but still feels really cozy and soft not itchy at all and yeah as I've been saying the color is just beautiful so yeah really really happy with it I will be wearing this all spring and it will stay in my wardrobe forever next up is this cardigan which I included in a reel that I did recently with naked and I really just thought this was the perfect timeless spring cardigan I love the length of it I loved the thickness the quality and it comes in a few different colors as well and yeah I just thought if you're looking for a spring cardigan that you can wear with jeans you can throw over your shoulders this was just a really really good option and um, as I said the quality is really nice it feels really premium I actually loved the contrasting kind of leopard print buttons as well I thought that was a really nice detail um, and it's actually a really good kind of dupe for two others that I'm going to show you in a minute from Almada and H&M um, because cardigans can get really expensive and this was just a really good more affordable option so yeah I really love this and I had to include and to be honest I just style it as I have done here really simply with some jeans and a t-shirt and some ballet flats for a really simple cute spring look this is a little bit more of a premium option. This cardigan is absolutely stunning. The quality is just beautiful. It's really kind of thick, heavy material. And to be honest, I think it's a little bit of a Kate dupe, if you know the cardigans that I mean. Um, I am obsessed with this cardigan. I just think it's one of those pieces that will stay in your wardrobe forever. Um, I'd wear it like I have done here with jeans and a t-shirt. I also think because it is that more kind of oversized fit, you could definitely wear it with leggings and high top boots. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this. I think it might have sold out already because it's one of those kind of H&M premium pieces which just seem to go really fast, but I will leave it linked down below. I think it did also come in like a cream color as well, which looked lovely. And um, so yeah, highly recommend, but as I said, it, it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but I think for the quality and the fact that you can keep it forever, it's probably worth it. I do think a gray cardigan is a really good spring purchase. As I said, I'm not sure if that gray one from H&M is still in stock. And if you're looking for a slightly more affordable option, then I do really love this Abercrombie one as well. This is a slightly more kind of cropped style, slightly more fitted. Um, I think I'm wearing this in a size S. Um, again, the quality is really, really nice on this. Feels almost kind of in between a jacket and a cardigan, um, but not too thick and heavy. A gray cardigan also works really well if you've got the Adidas Sam like the rest of the world and um, I just think having some grey throughout your outfit really brings that whole look together and this kind of more fitted style is really good for wearing underneath coats and things at the moment so I definitely think this is a really good transitional piece and um, I'm pretty sure it does come in a few colours as well so if you weren't looking for a grey I think you can get this in a white and also a cream and black stripe as well so yeah a really good option and a slightly more affordable price point. I can be a little bit of a cardigan addict particularly in spring but I do just think they are so well wearable they're one of those pieces that you almost can't have enough of because they're just perfect for layering literally all year round and um, this one is a little bit more of a premium well I say it a little bit more it is a lot more of a premium option and um, it is absolutely stunning it's from Almada the label which is a quite a new brand to me but they have some absolutely stunning really premium high quality pieces they were very kind enough to send me this cardigan which I just think is absolutely beautiful and if you are looking for more of like an investment kind of forever piece in your wardrobe then I definitely think this could be the one I just think the color is super super gorgeous and I just think this is a really really wearable color you can wear it with black you can wear it with blue denim jeans you can wear it with a cream base like I have done here you can literally throw it over jeans trousers shorts dresses all year round so yeah I really really do love the shape the style the fit everything about this cardigan and of all the cardigans that I've shown you so far this one is definitely the softest first. Um, the naked one that I showed you first, this kind of cream one here, I did think this was quite a good dupe for this cardigan if you're looking for a similar piece but you didn't want to invest quite so much. Um, obviously not as soft, not quite the same level of quality but again a really good option to create a similar kind of look. 
It's really not very often that I love a pair of trousers, so definitely had to include these today. Um, I often find that the kind of fit around the waist and the leg length of trousers just isn't quite right. I have recently been in a little bit of a habit of getting my trousers altered, um, but these from Naked, I've not done anything to, and I really, really love the fit and shape of them. Um, they're giving me kind of like an Aritzia vibe. They've got this really nice kind of pleat down at the middle, and they're also just a really wide, comfortable fit. Um, I also love this color, this kind of chocolate brown color, is quite new to me but I really really like it and I've just put them on with this basic top from Arquette this is also a really good find it's just a super soft kind of basic long sleeve top really good for layering and things and I just thought this was a really good color match so definitely excited to wear this outfit this spring hopefully with no coat and just with some trainers and um, this belt I've got it on with as well is actually a new one from Arquette I really really love the style of this belt but I do think it comes up slightly big as you can see you can kind of see this um, like the back of the belt bit. That's kind of annoying me a bit, but I don't know if there's maybe some alteration that I can do there. But yeah, really love these trousers. I think I'm wearing them in a size 32. I'm also gonna see if they come in some more colors as well, cause yeah, the fit is just really, really good. I am five foot seven for reference. Then in terms of jeans, I showed you the H&M mum jeans earlier. So let me know your thoughts on those, whether I should keep them. And then by far my favorite jeans at the moment are these gorgeous Reese flares. I just adore these. I've been wearing them so much recently. I just think they are super flattering they really elongate your legs make them look so long I just love them they make me feel very put together I've been wearing them to my meetings recently just really simply with some heeled boots and either a crop jacket or a blazer with a long coat and yeah I just think they are so so nice as I said super flattering really high-waisted and um, I'll leave the size details below I think I'm wearing them in like a size 6 L32 I'm pretty sure I went for the longer length yeah I will double check and leave the details below I'm also really loving this darker denim wash. It's not something that I have a lot of in my wardrobe and it gives me very sophisticated vibes. I think it works really nicely for like a full navy look if you've got like a high neck navy long sleeve top or maybe a navy jumper. And I also really love the contrast with like cream and darker denim and of course really easy to style with black as well. And um, so yeah, a really wearable pair of jeans recently and one of my favorite wardrobe additions for a while. I've just got a couple of dresses to show you. This first one is a really simple but chic one from H&M. It's almost in like a boot clay kind of tweed material, but I think it's so, so nice. I am wearing the size extra small and I'm five foot seven and I think the fit is perfect. I think it's a really nice length too. Um, I think it would make a really nice kind of spring summer workwear dress too, but if you wanted it a little bit more looser and maybe slightly longer, then I would probably say to size up. Um, I've just got it on with ballet flats here and I just think this is a really cute kind of elevated spring daytime look. Um, I also think it would look really cute with the bash crop jacket over the top, so I'm just gonna try that on now. Okay, this is with the crop jacket on. Now, they're not an exact color match, but to be honest, I don't think anyone would notice. So if you've got a similar cream crop jacket, then I do think it would be really easy to make yourself your own little matching set. It just really helps to make the dress a little bit more wearable. And um, so yeah, I really love this from H&M. I think it looks super expensive, and it just gives me really cute, chic vibes. This really cute dress is from Abercrombie. You might remember, but I actually had this exact dress last spring summer in black, and I just found it so wearable. I literally wore it the whole spring summer. I just find that this style is really easy to pair with flats, trainers, and then also really easy to dress up with kind of heeled sandals and things as well. Um, because it's got sleeves, you can obviously wear it when it's slightly colder. And yeah, just a really wearable, easy to throw on spring summer dress. And um, I do think this pattern is gorgeous. I definitely wear this for like a city break or on holiday. If you're looking for more of an everyday kind of throw on dress, then I'd probably say to pick up either the black or the white. But I'm pretty sure it comes in lots of different colors and patterns. So definitely worth having a look if you like the style. But yeah, a really gorgeous dress that I can't wait to wear this spring. Then just quickly on accessories, I actually treated myself to a new spring, summer, kind of everyday work tote bag. This one is from Demelia and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I just think it's beautiful. It looks really expensive and kind of designer-esque. Um, I went for this kind of cream white colour. I will link the exact colour below. Um, but I just thought this was really nice for wearing with more kind of lighter cream kind of colours in spring, summer. It is honestly the perfect size. It fits absolutely everything in that you could need it to. I actually took it travelling in Switzerland and it was the perfect kind of travel bag. It does also come in a smaller size if you prefer. This is more of like a large oversized bag. But I really wanted something that would fit my laptop in and it definitely does that. Um, so yeah, I really love this bag. It comes in so many different colours. I will link it below. 
Then I also managed to get my hands on this gorgeous canvas bag from H&M. I feel like you would have no idea that this was from H&M. It looks very designer and um, it's beautiful, but I'm not sure if it's still in stock, but I will do my best to link it below and you can sign up to the notifications when it's back in stock. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. It's in this kind of canvas material, so I will need to be quite careful with it. Um, but yeah, if you can get your hands on this, then I do definitely recommend. And that is the end of the video, girls. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope it inspired you to either shop your own spring wardrobe or to make some really considered spring purchases. And hopefully we can all look forward to wearing some really gorgeous spring outfits in the next few months. Um, as always, I'll leave all the links in the description box below with all the size details and things. But if I miss anything, then do just let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye girls.